So you may recall back in 2012, 2013, the core projects, the circle of regional effigies that were around the man base. So that sparked a lot of uh, collaboration to happen, in, including these two sister cities, if you will, Sacramento and Reno, who have continued to collaborate since that time and are bringing this year the great train wreck, Jeremy Evans. That's enough out of you, Dell. Hi, everybody. Um, let me take a minute and breathe and not see all of you because of the really bright lights. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to bring the great train wreck. Um, there's a lot of inspiration behind this project. Um, the, where did my notes go? There they are. Um, okay. So, like Jeremy said, um, we became sister cities early on in, after 2012, uh, 2013, um, when Reno and Sacramento built core projects together. And we've supported each other and built uh, many projects since then. And uh, Debbie Brower, Red Vixen, the regional contact from Sacramento, came up with this idea a few years ago on how we can collaborate on a project and uh, highlight the collaboration between regions um, to split the workload and bring something really fun to Playa. So because Reno and Sacramento have a long, long history of being connected by the railroad, uh, it just was a good fit. This year's the 150th anniversary of the completion of that railroad to connect Reno and Sacramento to bring the silver Comstock load down and past Sacramento and into San Francisco for all the money. And so it's a great way to show collaboration um, connecting these two cities. And 100 years ago, the largest fad in, across the nation was the crashing of steam trains just for pure spectacle. And <laughs> when one thinks about the fun of smashing 20 or 30 tons of steel together for nothing other than enjoyment, you can't do that kind of stuff in 2018, except at Burning Man. <laughs> so, for 20 years, from 1896 to 1917, there were almost 100 staged train crashes in the US. They brought crowds over 40 and 50,000 at almost every one of them. In 1916, there was a staged train collision in New York City that drew a crowd of 162,000 people just to watch metal smash together. <laughs> California State Fair did this five years in a row from 1913 to 1917. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna build a life-size wooden replica of an 1870s, 1880s period steam locomotive, all out of wood, put it on a couple hundred feet of wooden rails on the playa and let everybody play with it all week and wait for the impending doom. <laughs> and we're gonna, we've broken it down. I've got these out of order on purpose so that I could look like I'm stumbling around. Uh, so we simplified the shell of a steam locomotive replica. So it's a pretty easy build. And then we're gonna pass it off to the community, um, all the people that wanna help us and make it look like a really old steam train. So sitting out on the playa in the blackness of night, you're just gonna see this glowing actual 1880s looking steam train just glowing in the desert. How did it get there and why did it get there? So that we could smash them together <laughs> for fun. Um, like I said, we've been collaborating between Reno and SAC, building art projects and supporting art projects uh, from around the world for the last five, six years. Our team collectively on both sides of the puzzle, 50, 60 art projects on Playa that we've helped contribute to and collaborate with. And that's the essence of Burning Man. And we just wanna do it more. So we've broken it down, like I said, into very simple construction. Um, we're, not, we're not building an elaborate art piece that invokes a whole bunch of questioning your existence or anything. 
we just want to crash trains together. <laughs> so how do you crash two trains together on Playa? Um, Dave X asked us that a couple months ago, and he didn't like our answer. So we're going to ask you to help. Um, we need roughly 10% of the Black Rock population to help us on burn night. <laughs> We need a perimeter. I don't even know how large they're going to make the perimeter. Um, I'm guessing five, 600 people. Uh, and we need a few hundred people to tow on the ropes. We're going to have ropes. It's going to be human powered through some gears and pulleys to help amp up the speed. But a la Trojan horse, we need human power to yank these two things together so that we can blow them up. Um, wrong way. And then we're going to blow them up. <laughs> We've had the most amazing support and reaction from the entire community. Every time we go anywhere, uh, our name has been heard of, the, the organization. And just, I think they don't believe us that we're going to blow them up. Um, but we're going to blow them up. Um, but the support of the whole entire community and the fun around our project is what we're going after. We want to bring back an event that's a spectacle and it's fun. Um, unlike all of the amazing projects that have been presented tonight, we're not taking ours home. And we're not going to take it and share it with the rest of the world and mean anything. We're going to burn it to the ground <laughs> and leave it there. So. Our call to action is tell every single person you know that you have to stay a little bit sober on Friday night and come help us blow up a couple trains. Yeah. <laughs>